During this short video, I'm going to show the use of the new advanced trending package in Nero 9.2 by displaying some of the available trends in the standard EG LTM view mode. Trend calculation and analysis can be run and displayed both online during the recording and offline in review mode. For the sake of simplicity, I will show the result in review mode. Open the study in review mode by selecting the study in the database and click on Review. We can start reviewing the study moving throughout the EG either by clicking on the study toolbar or by selecting the event in the annotation viewer. We can also change the visualization parameters like the time base and the sensitivity to better display either a portion of EEG or an overview of the electrical activity for example, to quickly identify both ictal and interictal activities. We can drag and review DG until we find an activity of interest. This is an example of seizure where the electrical activity generated on the right side of the brain is greater than the left side. In addition to reviewing pages and pages of EEG, we can also show and use EEG trends to identify such activities. EEG trends are recommended for quickly recognizing this type of events and so possibly save time during the review of a study with long duration. If the trend summary toolbar is not visible, Click on View, Toolbars, and Trend Summary. Here we can show events and trends which are synchronized with EG and organize them into different tabs. In the example, the seizure event count plot and the DSA trend are displayed where the green text and the increasing shifts in power refer to possible seizures occurred in the G respectively. Please note that the DSA trends refer to channels T4, C4 for the right side and C3, T3 for the left side and the increase of power in T4C4 is more evident as the electrical activity generated by the seizure is greater on the right side of the brain as we can see in the EEG page above. Instead of selecting and showing the trend summary toolbar anytime, we can use predefined workspaces in order to show and hide specific panels in the EEG screen. Workspaces allow multiple end users to have the software remember or recall individual preferences regarding certain user interface elements of the application. Clicking on the workspace button, we can select the workspace previously created and saved. The current workspace is named EEG, which includes the EEG waveforms and the annotation viewer on the left side. If I select EEG plus trends, the system will open the corresponding workspace, which includes the EEG waveforms and the trend summary toolbar at the bottom. We can also add extra trend plots to the toolbar in order to display additional information. Click with the right button, select trend plots 
and then select the desired plots from the list. For example, T3, T5. And T46. We can change the maximum or the minimum value on the Y axis by placing the mouse cursor on the upper part of Y scale and use the mouse wheel to increase the maximum range of the Y axis of a single trend plot. We can change the height of trend plot by placing the mouse cursor on the left side of a trend plot and use the mouse wheel to increase or decrease the height of a single trend plot. We can also change the gain of the DSA power scale by placing the mouse cursor on the color scale of a DSA trend plot and use the mouse wheel to increase or decrease the gain of a single trend plot. As I said, we can organize trends into different tabs. In this example, the tab number two shows the envelope trends where an increasing shift in voltage identifies a seizure occurred during the recording. Clicking on both the event plot and the trend plot, the system jumps to the synchronized EEG page showing the corresponding EEG activity. We can also hide some trend plots, the selecting them from the trend plots available in the list. For example, we can hide envelope T3, T5 and envelope T4, T6. Then, we can adjust the height of each trend plot by placing the mouse cursor on the left side of a trend plot and use the mouse wheel to increase or decrease the height of a single trend plot. Tab number three shows some QEEG trends, the absolute and the relative band power trend for the right side and the total power trend where the peaks of power refer to the seizure events. Going back to the tab 1, we can also use the DSA trend to identify possible artifacts in the EG and differentiate them from critical activities. Many artifacts such as muzzle activity or electrode artifact will be represented by a prolonged or sudden increase in power at higher frequencies along the y-axis with no evolution. Here we have an example. Clicking on the DSA trend, the EEG page shows an artifact on both the first derivations and the last derivation in the montage, which include the T3 and T5 channels, which are contaminated by an artifact. Moving on tab 2, where the envelope trends are displayed, 
We can easily identify the seizure events on the left, which correspond to the increasing shift in voltage. But we don't have any clear evidence or indication of the artifact. That's because the envelope trend is less sensitive to artifacts than DSA and other amplitude reflecting trends. Once we have completed the review and the analysis, we can export both plots and data. Click with the right button, select Export Plot and the Decide option. For example, copy DSA to clipboard. Then we can just open a document and paste the image of the DSA trend previously copied. We can also export DSC data as CSV file. However, sometimes we need to know the values displayed in the trend plots without necessarily exporting data. The Trend Data Tooltip feature allows moving the mouse cursor on a trend plot and display the instant value. From within the Trend Summary Toolbar, we just need to click with the right button and enable the function. In order to add more tabs, we can click with the right button and select Add Summary tab. Then we can populate a new tab with extra trend plots, selecting them from the trend plot list. First, we can add the axis regarding the time of the day and the elapsed time as references, and then add the trend plots. For example, we can add the BSI trend and then save the current profile in order to make the changes available for the next recording or review. Once we have completed the review, we can close the study by clicking on File and select Exit.